Thank you, Ambassador Ty. I, I think you can sense the frustration, at least over on this side of the dais, because it just does not appear we are moving the needle on trade. And I don't know you very well. I, you come very, very highly uh, spoken of from members who worked with you previously. I personally think you're too nice a person to be in the job that you're in, because I think you're handicapped um, because of administrative uh, folks that you have to report to, et cetera, that are handicapping you in your job. Negotiators are usually very, very tough and sometimes mean people. They aren't nice people like you are. And if you look at what's happened with us, we are absolutely handcuffing the United States because we worry more about green things. It's, it's all the other distractions. We're in the Paris Climate Accord. We handcuff ourselves, and we give China the ability to buy, you know, build nine this past year, 27 more coal plants. And if you look at what we're doing to the United States, all we're doing is giving the open door for China. It's just a fact. We don't negotiate. We're talking about critical earth, rare earth metals. Yeah, we're fine to tear them up and get them from China where we're using slave labor, but we have them in our own country and we're not able to do that. It puts us absolutely at a disadvantage. And you're stuck, personally, I feel sorry for you, you're stuck in the middle of that. So, Congressman, I can assure you um, that um, I know to be nice to members of the Ways and Means Committee, <laughs> and I've never been I've never been faulted for being too nice. Uh, I also you have too nice also, a smile. I, I also don't need you to feel sorry for me. So please don't please don't I just, do that. Yeah, I feel like you've been put in a tough spot personally because there's just been the, this administration of, above you has just shown no interest. Okay, in Okay, well let me just take off the nice a little bit. I don't need your pity. I stand up for the American people, and when I speak, people listen because I represent the interests of the United States.